ultimately every Parkinson's patient who is diagnosed becomes an advanced patient. So where everyone starts is an oral dosing of levodopa, carbidopa, that combined therapy. It comes on very quickly as effective, but it starts to become ineffective relatively quickly. The patient often is taking eight doses a day and is at the point where they can't take it at night while they sleep for six to eight hours. So their symptoms are uncontrolled in the morning. So they wake up in what's called an off state where the patient is experiencing motor fluctuations. Michael J. Fox, who was diagnosed with Parkinson's at age 29, he's in his 60s now. So you can live a long time with this disease, but the quality of life is not very good. And that's where our lead product is positioned to work on that quality of life issue. Today, the products for advanced patients are essentially recognizing that levodopa carbidopa has to be given multiple times a day. It's not working anymore. Well, there's been a formulation of levodopa carbidopa that is now a liquid formulation. It's infused through an electronic infusion pump. So for the 16 waking hours that a patient is using this drug device combo, they're being continuously infused with this dopamine, levodopa carbidopa, and that works pretty well, but it's not a great product. The patient is wearing their care. The home health care aide has to hook it up in the morning because the patient is in an off state. It creates a skin reaction around the infusion site. So the infusion site has to be managed and moved around. And the electronic pump is difficult to program. So the solution, the product, is not a great product. So we are working with a molecule that is well described in Parkinson's. It can only be a useful therapy as an infused product, and this is called apomorphine. And so what our technology enables is to take that molecule, that apomorphine molecule, and put it on our polymer backbone. And our guys, the scientific founders at Serena, pioneered the biocompatible polymer known as pegylation, polyethylene glycol, at a prior company. And so PAWS was engineered to do what PEG does well and do what PEG can't do. 